So you want to do an internship in Germany? It's a good opportunity to gain some uh, practical experience in your profession, earn some money, and also maybe receive the permanent job offer. But how you actually get an internship in Germany and what do you need to do for this? In this video you will figure it out. I'm excited to talk about this topic myself because I'm currently also looking for an internship, but in Austria. I'm a student and so my program obligated me to complete the internship uh, for at least three months. If you have a similar situation, this video would help for you, or maybe you just want to do voluntary internship, this video would also help for you. You're probably a student, because internships in Germany are only available for students. This is the first requirement to apply for internship and actually to receive the internship, is that you enrolled at university. It can be German university, but it can be also university from abroad. Nowadays, 37% of the students in Germany actually complete internships during their studies. Although not all programs obligate them to do that, but uh, most of the students decide to do internship because it's really good for your CV and uh, actually German employers value internships a lot. It will show that you have experience, that you know how German companies work and that you're employable. However, interesting fact that 40% of all interns in Germany are actually studying business. And I myself also study business. And for most of the program, I guess, it's obligated to complete the internships in business programs. What are benefits of internships in Germany? Firstly, as I mentioned, you will receive work experience, which is very valuable in Germany, which is, will be really good for your CV. The second, you will also receive salary, because in parents, in Germany, I get paid, usually. Like, there are some companies who don't pay to interns, but usually uh, they have a salary, and it depends, uh, but starting salary would be around 450 up to 2,000 euro. Average salary for internship in Germany is around 1,100 euro per month. However, minimum salary for an hour is uh, 9,35 euro. So if your company will pay you minimum wage, you will receive around 1,500 euro per month if you work full-time. The next benefit of completing the internships in German companies is that you will know how Germans work, you will know working culture, how German companies work, and it's very beneficial if you want to stay in Germany and actually have a full-time job here. Uh, you will already know what is like etiquette, working culture, so it's very valuable as well. The next benefit is of course networking, because your network is your net worth, so if you all have a good network in Germany, you can also have a full-time job here, you can find a friends and a like-minded people, so you can also meet other interns. If it's big company, big corporation, it usually has not only one intern, it has many interns, so you can all uh, communicate and exchange the experience. And of course, while doing internships, you will learn a lot about your profession, you will actually apply the theoretical knowledge you have learned during all these years at university. You will know which tasks are like for your professional usual, what are your responsibility, if you like it or not. Maybe you don't like it, maybe you want to change the profession. So during the internship you can really try yourself in, in your field. The next benefit, as I mentioned, internships are always good for your CV. It's always good in Germany if you have internships, and that's why many people here complete internships. Many people complete even several internships, like two, three internships, because we want to improve their CV, we want to improve their experience, and so it's also very valuable for the employer. They would prefer to hire employee with internships who has completed internships uh, instead of someone who don't know how to work, who never worked, you know, experience, nothing. Of course, they would choose the first one. And the last benefit of internships is that it would be easier in the end to find a permanent job. Many interns are accepted in the companies where they do internships, they just continue to work there full-time or they find another job, but as I mentioned, it's so good for your CV that it would be also easier to find another job in another company. So a little bit more about salary. Usually internships are paid in Germany, however, if internship lasts uh, fewer than three months, the employer isn't obligated to pay you. So for such a short internships, interns usually don't get paid and you will basically work for free. That average salary of 1,100, it's a gross salary and after taxes you will have around 800 euro uh, in the end of the month. 
So what are the requirements for internships in Germany? You have to be enrolled at university. It can be German university or foreign university abroad. You must have started at least four semesters, so it's two years. The internships you want to participate in must be related to your studies. And sometimes you need to get approval from Federal Employment Agency. It's, it depends on the length of your uh, internships. If internships uh, are shorter than six months, you don't have to get an approval. But if it's longer than six months, you need to get an approval from an uh, employment agency and it can be a little bit complicated. So if you're studying at German University and you want to complete internships, you don't need to have a visa, of course, because you already have student visa and you're allowed to work with the student visa. So you can easily complete the internships on that visa. But if you are coming now from non-European country, of course, you need a visa to stay in Germany. If you're from European Union, you don't have to. But for non-European citizens, you need to have a visa and it has to be applied from your home country at German embassy. So there are some particular requirements for the visa explaining all these requirements in this video so be patient so firstly which visa you have to apply for if internships are lasting up to three months you apply for visa c c visa if internships lasting more than three months you apply for a d visa d visa is a german national visa so for both of these visas you need the contract with the company you will complete the internships firstly you will need to get this contract without the contract it's not possible to apply for a visa there are some countries who don't need to have a visa to come to Germany and these countries are also not from European Union so they are in priority list of Germany. These countries are including US, uh, South Korea, Australia, Canada, Israel and some others. Citizens of these countries uh, don't have to apply for a German visa prior to arrival. We need to then apply for a visa or for a resident permit actually in Germany. Better to do it uh, as soon as you came to Germany. So the next document you will need to get as a non-EUN citizen, it's a special work permit from employment agency called uh, ZAF a consent letter. So this uh, document will allow you to come to Germany to complete the internships. It is a special document for interns. It's not like a document for a full-time job. It's more easier. So uh, if you want to have like full-time job, you apply from abroad, uh, you will need to get a different document. And this is pretty much easy. And usually employment agency, if they don't prove much, uh, they would give it to you. So when you apply, also you have to pay 75 euro, it's not free. And better apply as soon as possible, but at least uh, three weeks before internships. So this visa will valid uh, depending how long your internships. If it's three months, it will be three months, but it will be maximum 12 months. So it's not possible to get a longer visa. Also, you will need to have proof accommodations for that visa. So you will need to book some apartment in Germany or maybe a, a room or Airbnb or a hotel. Maybe you can book it and then cancel. But you need to present like uh, the accommodation for entire stay. And in the end, if you want to work full time in Germany, if you want to have like permanent job, you will need to travel back home and apply from uh, your country in German embassy for a working permit. So you need to have a job offer, you can actually apply. So now you probably ask yourself where to look actually for internships in Germany. It depends if you want to work in English or you want to work in German or if you study in German University. If you study in German University, usually universities are sending actually job offers uh, to students. They will send you via email. Usually we have like a job board at university. They will publish it there. Or uh, they have also like boards uh, printed, you know, the, like normal black boards. Uh, you can also see the ads there, who is posting. It's usually at university somewhere like a billboard at university so there you can maybe also find an apartment and jobs it's most of the universities in germany have it but also online if you're not in germany if you are applying from abroad there are some websites particularly for practicum particularly for internships uh, but also like normal jobs websites you probably know also linkedin linkedin is a big platform also used in germany so you can apply there job boards uh, websites like glassdoor Com. The big website is uh, yagora.com. The Graduate Land, uh, especially for people who are looking for 
internships for graduates. Then we have also big site for all jobs like stepstone.de and for only internships there the website practicumstellen.de so there are plenty of websites but you can also write like practicum in Deutschland and in Google all the internships in Germany and you will see plenty of offers depending on language you want to apply in so what do you need to look out or watch out in internships in Germany or to pay attention to the firstly is the tasks what you will need to do because uh, many companies in Germany actually use uh, the students like cheap labor because uh, it's cheap for them to hire you of course and there are not much uh, obligation from their side and salaries are low so they would also hire some uh, interns just to do some organizational tasks which are really not related uh, closely to your field so really watch out that the tasks are really related to your task if it would be like normal job that is really related to your field to your profession and the tasks are challenging enough you know you don't want to really make a coffee entire day or to sort uh, some documents it must be challenging for your brain the next of course you want to watch out is the salary uh, that uh, it's actually paid and uh, not uh, like volunteer internships because who want to do volunteer internship and uh, that is paid enough uh, for these tasks that the pay is uh, not below the average if it's like below 1000 it's a little bit underpaid but it depends if it's really if it's really company like a smaller company they pay lower if it's a bigger company they pay higher uh, salaries so it's depends also the next point to look for is how autonomous your work how independently you can work because it's important that you not always have to work with someone that you not depend on uh, someone that you can work actually autonomously that you can be responsible for your projects not like help someone all the time that's not really enjoyable and the last is the length of the internships because uh, better choose the internships which are longer than shorter because if it's shorter if it's for example three months or even shorter than three months what can you actually do during this time you will only like learn a little bit about the company and your time is already gone you need to really inter integrate yourself in a company learn the task get into this routine so it should be for my opinion at least six months and maybe even longer so how to apply for internships internships pretty much uh, similar to the jobs you need to have particular documents to apply in Germany it's a classical your CV, your cover letter, also confirmation that you're actually studying from your university, that you are enrolled at the university, also transcript of records so we can see your grades. So that's pretty much basic. If you have some uh, certificates like working certificates it's only of course advisable to apply this. Uh, some recommendations from uh, your employee employers or from your professors and uh, even like language certificates if you have language certificate in German it would be great and uh, maybe English so all this will be only help you so really watch out for your cover letter because cover letter it's important in Germany it's how actually the recruiters will get to know you they will read through your cover letter uh, you will you know write there your experiences uh, a little bit about you uh, about why you are interested in this job why you're interested in this company in this field uh, what you can actually contribute to this company how you can contribute uh, what are your tasks what are your experiences and qualifications so that's all you write in cover letter and uh, for every company for every application you write a new cover letter you never copy the same cover letter for everyone because this is, doesn't work in Germany they see it through and they will reject you because they don't really look at your CV that precisely then we look at cover letter and we see that it's a copy paste uh, even you have a perfect CV and perfect qualifications doesn't help you if your if your cover letter it's not written correctly so always do this thing so basically do your cover letter and CV personalized to the job uh, listing you want to apply for to that company you always write you know in your CV you make a focus on the skills which are required requirement in the job listening which we focus on you know if there are like focus on content creation or if there are focus on programming language C or language Java so you write this uh, precisely in uh, your cover
cover letter and your CV, you make a focus on it. You can write something. I can program greatly. Like I have programmed in Java, this, this, this company, this, 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 so many years. And like you need to really make focus on the points, what we want to see, not what uh, you want to um, introduce, not what do you want to show. Basically, you need to really adapt to the listing and all the time change the, the skills, change the focus. So uh, make it really personalized and this will bring you best results. Also in cover letter you need to uh, write about company, you need to really inform yourself about the company. So really read on their website what their values, uh, emphasize this in your cover letter, so repeat something about this company, uh, make them feel that you really know that uh, company, that you are really interested to work for them. I would always recommend to write a cover letter in German because it will make a better impression if you speak German. If you don't speak any German, write it in English, but still, uh, German is always uh, beneficial and uh, in your application as well. So I hope you learn some German, you know some German, it will help you a lot. Also your CV should be in German format, Google like German CV, how it looks like, how it should be formatted because it should be in a German way and not like international way. So apply for internship as soon as possible, uh, the sooner the better. Usually companies post uh, jobs uh, around like two, three months before a start. Some of them even post uh, earlier, so if it's like corporation we post even earlier uh, so you want to apply really earlier as soon as possible because you know we will find some person and then we will close the listing even if it starts in uh, three months. In the end, if we find your CV, your cover letter appropriate, we like you, we will invite you for interview. If you're in Germany, it would be normal interview at a company. And if you're abroad, we will do it via Skype or even uh, via phone call, actually. Or maybe also Zoom. So guys, that was all input from my side about internships. If you have any questions, just, just write everything below in the comments. Also write uh, topics you want to hear about about on this channel and also don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it helps a lot and I'm really excited to see you next time in the next video.